Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. Still talking about valves. This time we're talking about a logical valve. Huh? So uh, it's not really a wave valve. Huh? We're talking about a two pressure valve. Huh? We've talked about two pressure valve in a brief video before. And now we're looking into, and it's a very simple construction. Yeah, from the outside, it just is a block. Yeah, it's a block, there's one connector, and at the bottom there are two connectors. Okay, so this is this is the outside. Let's cut it open. And this is the inside. You see, there is a piston inside, and this can be moved to the right, it can be moved to the left. That's it. Uh, that's it. Okay. How is this if it's moved to the right if we apply pressure here yeah, the, we will apply force at this side of the piston and also if it's somewhere in the middle at this side of the piston since this side of the piston the right hand side is bigger than the left hand side the piston will start to move in this direction book and then here it will be sealed okay so if I apply pressure here here is no pressure. Maybe short, but uh, not really. Huh? If I apply only pressure here and here no pressure, I have the same situation on the right side. So the force on this side of the piston is higher than on this side of the piston because of the rod and we will move to this direction. If I have here pressure, here will be no pressure. Okay? So, this also already indicates here's one and one, so the two ones they are pretty much equal. Yeah? So what happens now if I apply on both sides pressure? Yeah? Then the first pressure, the first arriving pressure, will move this. Ah, it's not that easy. The first, <laughs> the first arriving pressure will move this. To the situation like we've just before and the second pressure can already pass here we can pass this is just a t cross thing yeah so we can pass through so if this was the first appearing pressure the pressure on this side will appear at the connector two if both pressures are equal if this was the first appearing pressure then it would look like this and one is connect at this one is connected to two okay so we have this position, we have this position. Yeah? So if both pressures are equal, the later one will appear at the, in, at the output too. If one pressure is higher, the smaller one will appear. Because the higher one will, will again, the smaller one, and this will close its path. And the, the lower pressure will be at the connector 2 available. Okay, Two pressure valve. Promised. Looking very, very simple, right? So let's have a look also at the symbol. The symbol pretty much looks exactly the same way as, as the valve. Huh? So we have this casing. We have basically three chambers. We have this piston inside. Here's the connector 2, here's the connector 1, and here's also the connector 1. Sometimes in brackets there's also written 3. So this is the symbol, and it pretty much reflects exactly the, the working principle. Okay. This is the symbol of a two pressure valve. Next time, we're going to talk about a shuttle valve. Yeah. What this is doing, yeah. so this is, this is doing an end operation. On both sides must be pressured that a two, a pressure is appearing. Yeah. Next time, we're talking about an OR operation. Yeah. Shuttle valve, it's called. Yeah. How this is looking inside, I'm going to show you again at a little model. For this time, 
Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.